A ban on the sale of assault weapons in Illinois remains in effect for now. In a highly anticipated decision, the state Supreme Court upheld the ban, which had been challenged as unconstitutional. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey has reaction from both sides, and what happens next? The Illinois State Rifle Association tells me the fight is not over. There is still a battle in federal court, but this decision means the ban stays put for now. The Protect Illinois Communities Act barred the sale and distribution of assault weapons, high-capacity magazines, and switches that can turn semi-automatic guns into machine guns in Illinois, and came as a direct result of the Highland Park mass shooting on the 4th of July in 2022. This is a really big win for the state for public safety. Illinois State Rep Bob Morgan, who drafted the legislation, was there that tragic day with his family. And it means more to us because we know the impact. We know how it impacts our families and our communities. A central Illinois lawmaker sued claiming the ban violated the state's constitution. A Macon County judge agreed, but the state Supreme Court reversed that ruling. The court did not agree with the argument that the exemptions from the ban for trained military and law enforcement personnel violated equal protection under the Illinois Constitution. The court also found the provision that allows gun owners to keep weapons purchased prior to the ban reasonable. We're not shocked. Illinois State uh, Rifle Association we're Executive we're Director we're Richard we're Pearson said they are now turning their sights on the 7th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, which heard arguments this summer in six consolidated lawsuits challenging the ban. I would say we're getting close to the ruling. I would guess uh, 30 days. Uh, we all know that the Supreme Court goes into session on the first Monday in October, and so we hope to certainly have something by that time so we can appeal this to the United States Supreme Court. We should note that the Illinois Supreme Court did not rule on whether this ban violates the Second Amendment. In the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.